Scotland and Scotland you just dropped TV and everybody else watching it's uh, the Jarta are back again so uh, I guess first off Happy New Year although it is the 22nd today 24th even I don't even know what day it is but basically a couple of weeks behind schedule but today Clean Down is back on we're uh, going to try and you know first of all get some sorry for not being here the past few weeks hopefully you've not missed me or missed any of the, the sick Clean Down content that have been going on but you know what you need a break you need to try and come up with other things to do as uh, you have seen on the Just Drop channel, we've got you know the uh, the Warm Dresser Scotland, which not really a unique idea. We've ripped something else off that you can find on the internet, but who cares? And just trying out some other things and formats. So uh, hopefully, hopefully you've enjoyed that content. And uh, if not, sorry. Uh, hopefully you will enjoy the the return of the Queen Down. Uh, but you know, 2012, New Year, new stuff. We're going to try and do a hell of a lot more. I'm going to try and get a hell of a lot more talked about. I'm going to try and get a lot more discussed, and hopefully make this a, a bigger sort of video, you know, that so that more people can watch it, more people can get something out of it. Maybe maybe you're not just in Scotland, maybe you're based in the UK, maybe you're elsewhere. Uh, so I'll try and branch out and talk about other things of course. Maybe not the best player to do that, but who cares, I'm the only one doing it right now, so you're just gonna have to stick with me. Anyway, uh, as you can see you've got three weeks to cover so got a bit of an itinerary going on. But anyway, I guess first and foremost, thanks very much for watching in twenty eleven uh, the four or five-ish months of the clean down that I've done, the, the weekly broadcast were all great, it was all a lot of fun and you know what, it's good that you all watched and commented and subscribed and all that sort of stuff, it's great seeing it and thanks very much. Uh, so anyway, first thing I guess we're going to cover is uh, Ryan Hart was in Dundee a couple of weeks ago, uh, he was, uh, it, was a, it was a casual session put on by uh, Brand Star Reverse Scotland and uh, Giant Attack Dundee, all the guys from there coming together bringing some equipment, I brought some monitors, people brought some consoles, people brought some games. It was it was a really great night. It was a good casual event. Guys got games with the uh, Reinhardt. Reinhardt bodied us for about a hundred games straight, all sorts of stuff. But uh, it was great to meet him. He was a really nice guy. He was really sound. He was great to throw throw advice for people, give people hints, give people tips, let them know what they're doing wrong, what they're doing right. It was it was awesome. It was great to see, and it was uh, you know good to see a player of his caliber, of his skill level. You know, international uh, multiple Guinness World Record holder, coming down and just chilling with the guys, playing some casual games, it was great. Um, basically, uh, you know, my matches with them didn't go too well. Uh, I did learn a lot more about the game uh, that you don't really learn playing either online or with, you know, you know, some people that maybe, you know, you get, you get high skill players when you're seen, but some people that then we don't use the, the system as much, like uh, it was really option selecting me hard. So I thought I'd do back dashes and every time I back dash I'd go a sweep. Every time I'll, I'd stay still and get thrown or DP'd or something, it was it was good to know that you know there's players that have that sort of skill that can really you know do a lot of things in one go and really really shut you down. It was not it was a fun experience. It was great to play the guy, but it was not 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 a fun match. It was, I was getting annihilated, <laughs> but it was good. It was good to play. It was good to you know get that going on. It was actually really really good experience. Uh, you know everybody in. Uh, Dundee hoping that I would stop him from reaching the 100, fortunately guys I didn't, but you know, other guys that did do really well against him, uh, I know Graham and Muirtron had some really close games with him, didn't actually manage to take any games off him, but they took a lot of rounds off him, they they definitely done a lot, uh, it was our, he done really well off his Honda against the Sugat matchup, a matchup that's not really that fun anyway, but he managed to pull off a few wins in that respect, and uh, Big Phil as well, man, he really, really pulled off some impressive matches uh, with that game, that game is just sick man. But anyway, it was also it was also great to see players, you know, like Big Phil. Big Phil's Glasgow based, so yeah, he's, he's, you know, he's on the west coast. You got Ozaro's down in Edinburgh, you know, all those guys coming up to play. Uh, you know, Hamish, Rokankin, uh, Ken, uh, Smooth Jazz, you know, all these guys that came from you know not <laughs> from not Dundee to actually play. It was it was a really good experience to to see. It was great seeing all you guys up there. It was uh, you know really really good, and it was a great night held by all. Uh, Hopefully we'll, we'll see some more action like that. Hopefully, hopefully you no know, word will spread and you know the Scottish you know get in the map. But if not, uh, we'll just keep at it. We've got hate spotting for that anyway. But uh, what else did we have with the uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken Fight Club the uh, next week? Uh, that was another action-packed night. We got to play Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Uh, quite a few of us, Versus Scotland staff, got put on the uh, VIP list and got you know put through the door a bit early. Got booed. <laughs> fun being the bad guy and now know how Milligano feels at tournaments and everybody boos them because they're sick of them winning. But you know, it was good. 
it was it was a good it was a it was a good game. It was fun to play. It was good to see how the game shaped up. You know, actually to get your hands on it. Cause it's one thing watching the videos being played, but it's another thing actually. You know, <coughs> to actually have your hands on the game. I mean, it did feel like an unfinished build. You know, obviously it was. There wasn't all the characters in it. You know, we've had a few more characters unveiled since then. But it was it was up until uh, Zangief was announced that we had we had you know most of the most of the first wave of characters that were announced and. Yeah, they were looking pretty good. The uh, Horang's looking quite strong. Cammy's looking really good in this game. Gale looks pretty damn solid in this game as well. The Street Fighter characters, in fact, ones with ones that seem to use throws a lot seem to flourish in that game. Throws seem to do quite a bit of damage, but of course they've got time to tone that down. But is it? Well, they were saying maybe, maybe this this stuff is doing that much damage because the gems aren't in there, and once you add gems, that will compensate for it. Of course, we've had more information on the gems now, like you know activation sort of requirements and all that sort of stuff, damage reductions, damage boosts on defence gems, all sorts of stuff like that. So we're going to see how the gems work again. It's going to be iffy, we're going to have to wait to see when the game comes out, but it's been looking good also. Uh, met a lot of keen players, I met a lot of players of style coming on like casual sessions, uh, you know, which was great, it was great seeing some guys talking about Vester Scott Scotland, getting them into the scene. Uh, still looking for you, Bear Jew, though. Where are you? Like, we played some sets at AE. Uh, your dad's defeated my pad DJ quite handily, but yeah, man, looking for some, looking for some redemption there. So, man, bear you if you're out there. This is Xbox Live Gamer Tag anyway. If you're out there, come find me. Watch some rematches. It'll be fun. Um, let's see. Where do I see the game fitting in in competitive scene right now? I don't know. Once again, I don't know if, if you know, as a tag team game of two, two players against two players. It might work better that way, you know, because because the the timing of the the transitions with the teams could have a, a bit of difficulty. But right now, uh, we're just gonna have to wait and see the hype it generates, how good it is, and all that sort of stuff. We're not entirely sure where it's gonna go yet. So uh, who knows? We could see it. We could see it somewhere in the competitive scene. To be honest, it's still a bit unknown with gems, with all those other mechanics still in there. It's unknown to see where this will factor into the, the competitive scene. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it'll be a really casual game that gets people playing fighting games, which is, there's nothing wrong with that, I mean it has, you know, some of the core fundamentals, it has easy change to do, it has all that sort of stuff, so who knows, it could be a sort of, it could be one of those entry level games where it's a fighting game that's not too difficult, but you can grasp the sort of basics of fighting games and then hopefully build on there, move on to Street Fighter 4, move on to King of Fighters, move on to uh, Tekken or Soul Calibur or something, move on to those games and see how it goes. Um, favourite characters in the game so far? Uh, King. King with that shiny wizard kick, man, that kick where he just runs up on the knee, knees him in the face, man, it's, it's glorious. As a wrestling fan, I freaking love that move. Uh, but anyway, uh, shout outs to uh, Shou Ken at his uh, flat, which we'll now, I guess we're going to call it Outworld or something. But there were some great matches going on there, man, well into the night. I know Big Throw and Hamish played until 7 in the morning, but you know, there was an A on one side, Marvel on the other side. Uh, in favour of some sick Yomi telling people were going to drop combos when nobody saw it coming, that was. That was broad like uh, <coughs> empty. You know, with the guys from Dundee, we had a look with the Allen brothers, they, they came down and they played there, uh, but also up from down south we had Super Squad as well. Uh, he's he's a frequent player at uh, the, the sort of Super Mine Battle Farms uh, Sodium Showdowns. He's a he's a really sick player man, he had some good sets with Big Throw going on there and it was great to see him great to see him come up. Uh, Maybe some of the Scottish players, because you only really talk to him online, you know, since he's down south and stuff. But it was great to see him up there. It was good to see him travel. I hope to see him at Hype Spawn and I hope to hear a lot more from him as well. I know he watches his videos. Shouts to Super Squaddy. Uh, Shouts to Ken Felt and his crash. Shouts to all the guys that made that night fun. And uh, the day after, we went to Glasgow for the road to Hype Spot. And um, a regular runner or uh, Afro was out of the country, so he could run it. So uh, it was up to Belvedere to step up to the plate and uh, run his tournament. And he did that really well, man. We, where with you know some of the uh, the lack of marble copies we, we did our best, we done really well actually we got a lot of the games done S sad for it, uh, you know Swab Gap to not be able to play in the finals because who knows you could have won but second place is still good man, you get your tournament win man, you're, you're playing really sick you absolutely annihilate people in both games uh, shouts to Milligano of course for winning AE and Big Fool for winning uh, all the Marvel vs Capcom uh, shout out to all you guys for coming up. Uh, I know we've, we've put the matches up on Versus Scotland. I've got the Arbor Media Capture card now, which are running really, really, really well. And it was great to see, you know, these matches get captured and put online. So uh, hopefully check out the Versus Scotland YouTube and you'll get to see some uh, some of the sick matches from there, including Big Fool absolutely destroying me, blowing me up. 
uh, knowing that I'm going to jump at the start of a round and doing that command grab with Nemesis and killing the, killing the character. That was that was destructive, man. But anyway, you know that's that's kind of that's 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 kind of you know a sort of caught up. Uh, of course, we had the uh, we had uh, the road type spot on the Twitch on Sunday as well. Uh, I couldn't make it there, but thankfully my brother Jake Graham managed to turn up. And Gav also holding it down to Ken as well. Uh, shouts to the guys at Twitch. Of course, we're all now up. Shouts to Kenny for opening for the day. Man, he doesn't work Sundays, but he's he opens it for us on the uh, road type spot on days, which is a great man, Kenny. Freaking awesome that you do that. And uh, you and man, it's good to see you give us a space at Twitch for the uh, Sunday events. Of course, control at defeat as well. Always great when you guys uh, give us some, give us a space to do our Hamilton Road Time Spotters, man. Shout out to all you guys for uh, the land centres, man. Use, uh, man, don't give you guys enough credit, man. You guys are putting in the work, you've got the stuff, you're giving us the space, you're giving us the time to put these tournaments on, and it's great, man. We're involved in heart. Thanks very much for that. But anyway, at Twitch, we're, uh, we're a good show in the players on Twitch. Uh, Samurai Drew, Ibizaru, Big Fool. Uh, some of the guys from Dundee uh, came down, some of the other Edinburgh players came and, you know, had a really, really good tournament, you know, obviously, not not a big tournament, but, you know, the quality of players was there, was good, you know, the games were really good, uh, fortunately we couldn't get the captures going on, that's probably down to my bad, should have really, really ate how we use the LME here or something, because there seemed to be a bit of a problem there, but, man, to be honest, show us the uh, big fool for dominating the day, uh, show us to Ibizaru for putting up a good fight, and uh, Hamish as well, man, you guys always put up good fights when uh, when Glasgow comes to town. But, man, we're getting there, man. East Coast, East Coast, we're a threat, man. We've got teeth. We've got teeth. So, anyway, um, our things as well. Uh, I don't know, I guess I could uh, I could uh, plug some upcoming UK events, man. Uh, as I mentioned before, Superminor Battle Farm, they've got their uh, Sodium Showdown at the Lens of Nelson Street in Bristol. That is on Sunday the 29th, uh, same day as the Royal Rumble. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it down, it's a bit short notice, but if you guys are, are down in Bristol and you play fighting games, or, or if anybody else, or if you can pass it on to someone, you know, it's maybe down there that's in the fighting games, man. They've got a lot of games going on. They've got E 2012, they've got Ultimate Marvel, Third Strike, King of Fighters, they've got a Super Turbo 2v2. They've also got the, the UK debut, I guess, of uh, Arxis bringing uh, Blaze Blue Extend. Uh, always good to see, man. Always good to see these new games represented, and I hope it's a good tournament. I know that uh, Superman Battle Farms run it, and uh, Limit Break. They get they, they do a lot. They do a lot of recording and capturing and stuff. And it's good to see that as well. They they're uh, recording the finals, which is sick. And the week after, we've got Yorkshire Carnage. That's doing the National Media Museum in uh, Bradford. Uh, they're doing Dead or Alive Four, man. Again, as with Fight Spot and bringing back Virtua Fighter Five, man. Bringing back Dead or Alive Four. A lot of guys down there probably play it. And it's good to see this game get get some more tournament exposure, you know, building up the hype for uh, Dead or Alive 5, you know, more information that that's trickling out, so hopefully that's a good tournament, but they're also putting on uh, AE SoCal over 5 and Tekken 6, and that's a uh, next event, and uh, FMG Media putting on that tournament, what? Yep, FMG Media and uh, next event putting on the uh, putting on the stuff there and, uh, you know, running that tournament as well. There will be a stream on Twitch TV as well. Hopefully I'll get the link for you later on. If not, you can check out the uh, Yorkshire Carnage website as well. I'll put a link to that so you can get a link to the Twitch. Of course, uh, down in London, down in Harrow, uh, Yates, uh, not entirely sure in the days, but the EX Dragon Project, those guys down in Harrow, uh, they're running sort of uh, Dragon's Den. <laughs> nice name. <laughs> really, really good, actually. Uh, sort of training sessions to level guys up in games like uh, King of Fighters, Street Fighter, Marvel, and uh, Blue's Blue as well. Good to see you guys putting on training sessions, man. Uh, hopefully we'll get some. Uh, hopefully we'll see some video footage from you guys as well. Get out there. Uh, but please, man, it's good to see that the whole UK scenes, you know, really, really getting their events out there now. I mean, like I suppose Scotland's kind of late to the party, but it's good to see, you know, Superman about a farm, you know, uh, Yorkshire Carnage, all that sort of stuff coming to the forefront, and it's good to see all these events, you know, appearing. Uh, what else can I talk about? Uh, as well, shoot you out on a break, Superman Battle Farm, EX Dragon Project, uh, NXT event, and FMG Media. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, coming up, of course, we've got the road time spotting. Uh, Hamilton, first week, so that'll be the 5th of February, then on level up on the 12th of February, and then Twitch on the 19th. Yeah, that sounds, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, I'll check the dates for you, but that sounds about right. So. Hamilton, Glasgow, then Edinburgh for the road type spot. Of course, uh, spec without for them at the Thursday sessions is uh, uh, 
Saber Swags, King of Shiters, uh, King of Fighters, Randats. So uh, you know those have been going well. Uh, hopefully we'll get some we'll get some more decent results. I don't know about uh, Edinburgh Edinburgh's King of Shiters franchise. Uh, not a lot of people playing it, but we'll see. We'll get out there, man. We'll get some more games played. I know some guys are picking it up, but we'll get there, man. We're just not as dedicated as you guys over in Glasgow are, but. Of course, we've got the casual sessions as always. We've got the Wednesday nights uh, in Edinburgh at Twitch, Wednesday nights in Dundee, Thursday nights in uh, Glasgow as well. And if there's any other casual sessions going on in Scotland, please message me and I'll, I'll shout them out. Any other events you've got going on, I'll shout them out. Uh, also, coming up on the 4th in down in London again, I think it is, there's uh, the SoCal Before Launch event. But if you can't make it down to London, I'd uh, stay, stay looking at the Versus Scotland site because. Uh, there could be some more Soul Calibre 5 action coming in Scotland that no, not sure if we can tell you right now yet. I can give you a little bit of a hint. don't know where it could be. But if you know who plays Soul Calibre in Scotland, you'll probably know where it's going to be. Uh, but that said, talking about Soul Calibre 5, uh, there have been a whole new wave of characters. People saying guys like Keelock are going to be in there. Uh, Keelock's always a cool character with his staff. There's going to be loads of our characters. And... Uh, the creator characters have been quite interesting as well. Devil Jin as a sort of creator character move. Not as bent as uh, Heihachi from the way he looks in videos, but it's cool to see, you know, some Tekken characters move us make an end of the game. It's always sick. Uh, so you, you can see Tekken, Tekken Tag Tournament there. Uh, I think game game's doing a Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Prologue. It's Tekken Hybrid. So you get Prologue, Tekken Tag HD and other stuff for around about 15 to 20 quid. You also get a movie as well that I've not watched yet. Who knows, maybe I'll do a movie night with the janitor and review the movie or something like that. I don't know. But uh, what else have we got? I suppose I can plug uh, The World vs. Scotland. That's the uh, YouTube videos that myself and Delvedere have been getting up to doing. Basically, it's just us going online like some other, you know, uh, famous famous United States players that do all that sort of stuff. But, you know, it's just us trolling, getting destroyed online, mainly and getting silly. Shoot up the Arcade Edition one up soon. Uh, and, of course, uh, the What I've Done Wrong project. Which is me and my first 100 ranked games at uh, Street Fighter 2012. Got 80 games done so far, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing the What I Done Wrong project where I'm just gonna go over the first 100 games I've played. I'll not go over every single match. I'll have other other banner and other talk as well. But you know, basically, so you'll be able to watch the first 100 matches I played with varying skill levels of me being panned, panning, or close matches as well. You're gonna see chokes. You're gonna see all sorts of silly, silly stuff happening. But please, you know, stay tuned to uh, Just Joke TV and Versus Scotland for all your Scottish Fighting Game Media. Uh, once again, thanks very much for watching. Uh, is there anything else I could shout? Of course, I have to shout out my lovely girlfriend Jenny for being the, the best camera woman ever. Uh, she doesn't get enough credit for all the, the help she doesn't even provide you with the tripod. I've probably said this in a few videos, but I'll say it again. Why not? I love you. Thanks very much. Uh, other stuff as well. Uh, shouts to Versus Scotland for, you know, you know, having my back, helping me get these videos done, giving me the information. Shouts to you, the viewers, for watching. Shouts to uh, all the other scenes around Scotland. Shouts to Giant Attack Dundee. Shouts to the guys on the West Coast. Shouts to the guys in Edinburgh. All you guys, man. You make it fun. You make it worthwhile me travelling to these events and doing all these things. And uh, it's great. It, honestly, it's, I'm, I'm having the time of my life doing this. And it's, uh, it's pretty much a lot to you guys. Uh, there is a song in there, I'm guessing. But I don't want to sing. And I don't want to embarrass myself by dancing. Thoroughly. But basically, don't worry. Jenny's not in the corner. Nobody puts Jenny in the corner. Uh, Oh, well, dirty dancing references in the Queen Down. Who saw that coming? Anyway, stay tuned. Next week we'll have more information on the Queen Down. Uh, hopefully, more tournament results, tournament events, all that sort of stuff. So please stay tuned and, of course, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. And thanks very much.